that this is empty. But in reality, it is completely full. It's full of air. As people, we are always focused on someone or something. When we focus on ourselves, that becomes a problem. Have you ever heard someone say, he's full of himself? Well, what they really mean is he's proud. And pride is the opposite of humility. In the Bible, we find that God opposes, resists, abhors, tears down, breaks, scatters, reprimands, and punishes those who are arrogant and proud. This is really serious. God does not like pride at all. Here are some hard questions for you to answer by yourself. Do you assume that you already know something when someone's trying to teach you? Have you ever seen yourself as too good for a certain task? Have you ever been too proud to ask for help? Do you ever feel like you need to constantly teach people? Do you talk about yourself a lot? Have you ever thought that you are better than someone else? Do you ignore the advice that other people give you? Are you critical and judging of others? Do you constantly need attention? Are you unable to receive criticism, whether good or bad? Have you been overly obsessed with how you look? Have you been unwilling to submit to your authorities or obey them? Do you ignore others when they speak to you? Are you quick to make excuses for sin instead of admitting it? Well, if you answered yes to any of these questions, then there has definitely been a time in your life that you have showed pride. Instead of focusing on ourselves, which leads to pride, we need to focus more on God. So if you have become a child of God, he lives in you. He completely lives in you. You can't get more of God than you already have, but you can choose to focus on God more and more. After the one-time event of a person's salvation, there's an ongoing process called sanctification. Sanctification is becoming more like Jesus. When we are full of ourselves, there's little room for humility, or faith, or obedience toward God. Remember, this cup is already full. It's full of air. And we are full of self and pride. But as the water goes in here, that air is pushed out. In the same way, as we choose to focus on God, He begins to fill us with humility. And that pride is pushed out. John the Baptist understood this when he said this about Jesus. He must increase, but I must decrease. Sanctification is a process and it takes time. But the more you focus on God, the more you allow him and his way to increase in your life. As he increases, your own selfishness and pride will decrease. Pride is wanting our own way, but humility yields to God's better way. So this week, when you fill up a cup with water, quote John 3.30, he must increase, but I must decrease. Jesus, wherever 
darkness, follow his lead and light.